Let me just say a word about patterns. Uh, I think when I was coming up, I stunted my own growth because I didn't believe in practicing patterns. Uh, and I had people that encouraged me in my dereliction by saying, yeah, Smith, you sound really fresh. You don't sound like those other guys. Yeah, see, you don't practice patterns. Uh, later, I realized that I had done a bad thing <laughs> uh, because I thought that patterns were just regurgitated and it sounded canned. I didn't like that idea. I wanted to actually improvise. Well, as it turns out, I had to amend my thinking because patterns are a great way to learn jazz vocabulary. And I don't believe that we practice patterns so that we can regurgitate them verbatim. It's not going to end up that way at the end. It just means that we are going to practice patterns so we get the fluidity and the ideas and the sense of, in our ear and in our fingers. And, and then they, those patterns start to multiply into many other things. You learn a pattern, it's like a word. You learn one word and you put a different suffix on it, a different prefix on it, maybe coin it with another word to become a hybrid kind of word. Uh, there's a lot of, these patterns will do that. You know, just for example, if I take this pattern. It's a great altered pattern. Well, it doesn't always have to be that. After a while it might be. So the pattern be, takes on a different character by going different directions, different prefix, suffix, and so on. Uh, it really is an important thing that we let the students practice patterns. There are great sources of patterns. Um, one of the great ones that's really easily accessible, jazzbooks.com, the Jamie Abersold website, get volume three, which deals with two five patterns, uh, two five one progression. Uh, even just two of the tracks on that, uh, that CD are worth all the price of it. The major two fives in all 12 keys and the minor two five ones in all 12 keys. But in the back of the book, there are 72 patterns in major and 17 patterns in minor. And great material in those. They're not all cool. Some of them are very exercise-ish. But you can play through and find the ones that you really want to practice and then practice them in all 12 keys. And you can do it with that play along with the rhythm section where you have to meet time deadlines and where you have to play in tune with the rhythm section and make it happen. I think that's a great, great practice and I really highly recommend uh, that we work on patterns. And we'll be looking at how we use patterns in learning the blues, how we uh, use patterns in learning the rhythm changes, how we use patterns in, patterns in learning the uh, uh, other bebop tunes such as Afternoon in Paris. Uh, there's other videos that will uh, show uh, and illustrate ways that patterns can be used. So I would really recommend volume three practicing a lot of parents, patterns and they will gradually become a vocabulary. <laughs>